Happy Saturday morning to you all. I'm going to get myself pulled up. Kathy is finishing up over there. I hope that we have a good connection. I don't see anybody yet. Welcome. Welcome to this amazing event. Fabergé eggs. Hello, I see some people coming on. Hello, hello, good morning to you. Get myself all situated. Of course, I have my coffee because I'm still working, still waking up. Hello, everybody, come on in, come on in. Haven't the eggs been amazing so far? Oh my goodness, so excited about this. A little nervous too. Hi, Tanya. If you guys are new to my page, my name is Christina and I am with the Rust Covered Cottage. I would love for you to stick around. Give me a follow if you like what you see. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Marsha. Hi, Betty, how are you? Good morning, Chris. Thank you guys for having me in this amazing lineup. I really appreciate it. East Texas, hi, Marsha. Hi, Cheryl. Come on in, guys. This is my first ever Fabergé egg. In fact, when Chris invited me to be in this event, I had to ask what it was. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, because I had no idea. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Helen. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Thank you for sending to the crew, Lisette. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, this event is going to be streamed all day long in the Sparkle Room, and in my description, um, is the link to the sparkle room so you can watch it all day long without having to worry about who's next because we are not posting a schedule of times but it's going up until nine o'clock central so just go to the sparkle room at the end of every hour just refresh your page and the next presenter will be streamed in good morning Blakely hello Jeannie well welcome to all the new people I'm so glad you're here hey Tanya how are you you guys, for the new people, my name is Christina. My page is The Rust Covered Cottage, and I'm fairly new at this. I've only had my page since August of last year, but I am loving it every step of the way. Good morning, Barb. And I always have my coffee. In fact, one of my wonderful friends, followers, sent me this mug. Good morning, Linda. Okay, so my, my kind of Fabergé egg is going to be a little rustic. I, I am rustic, farmhouse, um, sometimes a little primitive, some shabby chic, just kind of good morning. Good morning, everybody. Chris, just, do you want me to pin that, Chris? I'm going to pin it. I'm going to pin the um, Sparkle Room group. That way you can click on there. It's free to join and you can watch everybody all day long. So in my true fashion, I'm going to... This is going to be my base. It is a rusty bed spring. A lot of my friends have sent me some, so I need to use them. And I got my, my egg. This is simply from the Dollar Tree, okay? This is what it looked like. Now, I had to do some prep work because, you know, Dollar Tree equals glitz and mess and glitter, and I had to, to do some prep work last night. So what I did was I took... um. I took some Waverly plaster and I just put a coat after I sanded all the sparkly off, I put a coat on it and so it would seal in the rest of that glitter that was there. Yes, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you all. And then ahead of time while I was watching Kathy, I did go ahead and start wrapping my fabric around it. And I'm just using Osnaberg fabric. It's a cotton fabric. This is what it looks like. I did not coffee stain it or coffee grunge it as I normally do. This is just plain fabric. Good morning. Welcome everybody. Thank you all for being here. And I started it with my fabric tack, attaching the strips to it, but I saved one just to show you what I did. And I just started at the bottom of the egg. Well, good morning. Welcome to all my friends. You guys, I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous for this. I'm s I was so pumped because I'm a last minute girl and I didn't 
I don't plan my projects. I just kind of like the night before I, they tell me what they, what I'm supposed to make. But because I didn't even know what a Fabergé egg was, hi, Brianna, that's my daughter. Um, I had to, you know, I had to think about it. Thank you, Kathy, for the stars. Um, so I was pretty excited and pretty proud of myself for knowing what I was going to do. Because all my girls that know me, all my friends on here know that is completely out of the norm for me. Hi, Kathy. I loved your egg. Jennifer, I don't know if you're on here. I loved your egg, too. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for the stars, Brie. Oh, Leanne, thank you so much for sprinkling. Yes, you guys, sprinkle us out. Get us out there. That way Facebook will let everybody see us. Oh, thank you. I'm a cap girl. I'm a cap girl for sure. Well, hello, Mary Beth. What makes an egg Fabergé and not decorated? That I can't answer. When I searched Fabergé eggs, it's just a fancy egg. That's all I know. Hi, Mel. How are you? Okay, so we have this. So we went from this to this, okay? And it was really hard not to coffee grunge this up, you guys. It really was, because that's what I do. You see my background? Everything's kind of neutral palette and coffee grunge. So what I did next was I took, I have flour sack towels that I get from Dollar Tree. They were both amazing, Stephanie. Hi. Hi, Kathy. Um, and I do coffee stain these like real lightly because they are stark white and I'm not a stark white girl. And we're going to, I saved one rosette to do for you because I couldn't sit here in 45 minutes and do everything and 13 rosettes because, um, thank you for sprinkling. It is not much, or this material on here is Osnaberg fabric. It's just a cotton material, a cotton fabric. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Walmart. They, in my Hobby Lobby, they have it back where... Um, the muslin is. Good morning, Dawn. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a thin strip and I just like glued the tip together and I'm going to twist and I'm going to roll. And then every now and again, I'm going to put, I had to break out my detail hot glue gun because my Ryobi would get me burnt doing something this detailed. So we're just twisting and rolling, twisting and rolling. And these are called little rosettes. And I had 13 of these to do, so that's why I'm only doing one with you all. <laughs> jeweled eggs and more jeweled, and I did. Um, Chris will be proud of me. Kathy will be proud of me. I've never bought jewels in my life. I bought some bedazzled because I am going to put a little sparkly on here for you all in true sparkle room fashion. So that's what we're gonna do until we get it to the size that I want. And that's with all of these, just all little rosettes. And you're gonna see what we'll do. Thank you so much. Stephanie, you have fun going to Canton this week or today. Get you some good stuff. My friend um, Stephanie from the Vintage Pebble, she lives in East Texas and she's not far from Canton and her and her fiance are going um junkin well hello deb oh yes chris i don't know anything else i just can do me but i did add a little bit of bling and i really i made a practice one and i really 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 love the way that it turned out so yeah why do you cut your fabric before you coffee grunge it because typically, unless I have a specific project, when I do my when I do my baking, I like my fabric. Here's my little basket, you guys. Anybody who watches me knows I have baskets of strips. I like them to be curly and crunchy, and I like the. This smells amazing. I I just like it to be like that. Now, if you just did a big piece, it would just. I mean, it would get crunchy, but as you cut it the edges that are cut or torn, because I like the torn edges, then they're not, they don't have that crispy goodness to them, if that makes any kind of sense. So that's why I do that. Do I see Ellie's Attic? Well, hello, Elizabeth. 
How are you? So that's about, I'm just making them about the size of a quarter. We're just twisting and rolling. And I'm gonna glue this one off and we're gonna cut it. Because we have to decoupage a cute vintage print that, um, that I'm going to put on the egg. So that's all done. We'll put that over there. And I just am sticking this tiny nozzle in there and I'm gonna glue that down just a little bit more. I love rustic grungy too. Thank you, Jan, welcome. Zena, I keep seeing everybody say hi to you. So hi, my friend. Okay, so this is a printable I got from Etsy. It was a set of tags. This is the color that kind of spoke to me. I love the, the vintage look of it. So I went ahead and I just tore it out as I was watching Kathy. And now I'm just going to wrinkle it up. Yes, you can use any egg. I'm just going to open it and close. We're just going to wrinkle. We're going to break down the fibers in the paper. You can do this with craft paper, with um, grocery sacks, lunch sacks. I'm going to do it probably four or five times, and then we are going to, hello, Rita. We're going to decoupage it with Mod Podge onto our, our fabric covered egg. And you guys, make sure you stick around. This There's going to be some amazing creations today, all day long. I know here, here in Northeast Ohio, it's horrible. It has rained and rained and rained. Well, hello, my friend, Tammy. And everything's just, just drenched. So it's a good day to stay in the house. I know a lot of people got snow. Okay, I'm going to go one more time, guys. Excellent. Thanks, Stephanie. You guys, sprinkle us out there. Hello, Deb from Studio MDAZ. Deb Brown, how are you, my friend? Okay, so... If you've never done, I know a lot probably have, but if you've never done this with paper or lunch bags, it just totally, when you break down those fibers in there, it makes it soft and very pliable. So I'm going to take my, I opened my Mod Podge because you know how it gets all hard to open. And I knew if it was going to happen, it was going to happen on my live. So I shook and loosened it prior to. I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to brush it on. Oh, Tammy, is it bad where you are too in Ohio? Because it was awful yesterday. My neighbor just sent my husband a picture. Um, right down the road from us, there's this big oak tree that fell, damaged cars, damaged the house, the garage. Like, it's awful. Like, the winds are just crazy. But I'm not going to complain too much because I know people out there on here have worse weather than that. Okay, so make sure that I have the top and I'm just going to place this. Oop, gotta make sure I get it on right. I don't want it upside down. I'm gonna do it right here because I like that pretty pink flower. And then I'm just gonna take a, a two inch chip, chip brush and I'm just gonna pound it down. Now, in my style, I don't mind wrinkles. I encourage wrinkles. That's why I wrinkled it up. And I mean, that that to me makes it more vintage, more, gives it more character. Oh, thanks, Marjorie. You're in Southeast. I'm up in Northeast. Little town called um, Youngstown. I'm on like on the outskirts. I'm in Boardman area by Youngstown State University, if anybody has ever heard of that. So I'm just gonna make sure. Good morning, Cindy Lou. How are you, my friend? Somebody just said I'm in Ohio. Hi, Miss Sue. Um, yeah, Tracy, you, good morning, Debbie Lee. You had it bad too in PA, huh? I'm doing great, thank you. I know, Kathy. I know. I said that on your lives a couple times, but, you know, you had so many people and you were working. When you looked up, I was already done past. Yeah, I'm not far from you at all. Okay, 
So here we have it. Isn't that beautiful? I just love, love, love. And there was like six of these prints. They're like tag size, but I, I sized it the way I wanted on my computer app or on my printer app. And they were just beautiful. And they were a dollar and one penny is all they cost. Good morning, Renee. All my Chuff Berry girls are on here. Thank you guys all for being here. So this is what we have. Now, we're going to take all these rosettes that I rolled. I have 13 of them. And I'm going to, um, my granddaughter, my daughter's feeling a little bit better today. I think the antibiotics have kicked in. Like, she can swallow now and everything from the strep. But I think they got something viral, too. Because now my granddaughter is just sneezing and coughing. Like, she's not acting sick. But, like, she's... Poor little thing. Her nose is all red and she's coughing and sneezing, but they're doing okay. Brie went for her massage today, so <laughs> she had a, a full body massage scheduled and she's like, Mom, I don't get my money back and I'm not going to lose my money. I'm going. So she went. She's been on antibiotics for three days for the strep, so she's not contagious anymore. Hi, Beth. How are you? Thanks for watching. Well, thank you. Listen, I, I, I had to do it my way. Like, like they asked me, because, and they know my style, so I even messaged Chris. I'm like, it's okay for me to do it my style, right? <laughs> Hi, Robin. I'm assuming that's um, Zimmy. Zimmy's Simple Designs. Oh, you guys, I appreciate you spending part of your Saturday morning with me. You have to stick around for the whole event. It's going to be amazing. Have fun, Stephanie. So, see, this is what we're going to have all around the decoupage um, print. Stephanie's going to pick out some good places for when we go down to Texas in April. You guys, I'm so excited. My husband and I are leaving on... It's a 16 hour, 16 and a half hour drive from us where we are in Ohio. And we are leaving on the 20th, Thursday the 20th. And we rented an Airbnb down there. And we are staying until the 30th. We're leaving to drive back home on the 30th. So it's like a whole vacation. And we'll meet up with the craft around the clock. Um group and you know the meet and greet and everything so it's gonna be so much fun hi jamie how are you jamie's my new magnolia upline i just started selling magnolia she's my girl okay some of these are more coffee stained than others and it it's not gonna bother me at all but some are darker same towel same batch but Texas Breeze Creations, hello. Wait, what happened to Stephanie Wisby? I hope you're okay, girly. And we're going to make a beautiful bow. You guys, I did make this last night, and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I'm not gonna, even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Okay, so we have 30 minutes. It is going to be fun. I get to finally meet um, Stephanie and Sarah and Kathy and Gina and all the craft around the clock sisters. Like, I'm so excited. My husband was able to get the time off work. It's like everything's lining up. So we paid for the Airbnb. Well, most of it. We had to pay half. We're taking our little dog, Teddy, with us, too. We have a little Morky who's three. And um, he's spoiled rotten, so we are taking him with us for a road trip. How fun is that going to be? Okay, I had an extra one. There we go, guys. We have it just like that, okay? Oh, I just love that. I'm going to heat up some of these glue strings. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, well, you're a craft around the clock, sister. <laughs> Good name, everybody, Tanya. That is going to be fun. Hi, 
Tony. I see somebody saying hi to my friend Tony. How are you? Okay, so we have that. Now we are going to make a bow, okay? This is a bow dabra. Lots of you know what it is, some may not. It just pretty much holds your fabric in place while you're putting your fabric strips into it. Look, Chris, if you're still there, Chris and Kathy, I got some bejeweled or some totally dazzled. Okay, so I have sorry silk. I did have sorry silk. Where's my, oh, there it is. My sorry silk. And you guys, I dyed fabric with an avocado a couple days ago. And I kept telling my friends, like I did a live yesterday about the dyed fabric. This pink fabric that I dyed with the avocado matches perfectly to the print that I'm using for my project today. And I kept telling them I was so excited because it worked out perfect. I know you love the bling, Kathy. I was so proud of myself. Like, I actually ordered it. <laughs> so, I'm going to make a bow. I hope that if anybody is asking me questions, my girls are answering because I know I'm probably missing a lot. So, you just put your string down that you're going to tie your bow with. And I'm going to start with my... This is another piece, more pieces of the flower sack towel. It's like a tea towel type thing. And I'm just gonna start putting these in here and I'm gonna leave it long on the outside because I want to, I want to have tails because I want it to hang down the front of the bed spring. So we're just gonna keep it going like that. We'll do another one of these. And I just tore these and I don't know, I just take the fabric, take my scissors and just go through and snip it and then tear the rest. Hi, Kathy. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here. So we just do this and then now I'm gonna add in some of my avocado dyed fabric. I was on, I was on a live one day and one of my my viewers were saying that they just dyed fabric with an avocado. Well, that um, got me all kinds of interested. I'd never heard of food dyeing before, so I've been doing all the food dyeing. This is my sorry silk. Oh, thanks, Sherry. How are you, my friend? Sherry's Creative Designs. Hi, Brenda. How are you, girl? We're going to go with another. I kind of want this to be substantial, but not over the top, if that makes sense. Spoke to my heart. You talking about me, stuff? We're going to add some more of the pink. I just, I was so happy because I already had the printable, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that matches perfect. So I had no idea what it was going to look like. I've never died with an avocado pit or skins before. There we go. We're going to add some more sorry silk. Yes, thank you for watching the replay. And listen, I am <laughs> I'm not a professional by any means. I just wanted to do it. So I got in the kitchen and I did it. And that's all there is to it. Okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to end it with one more piece of sorry silk. Well, I had, it was funny because I had two in the fridge and they needed to be eaten. Like when you cut into them, they're like brown because I love them too. So I felt good about not having to throw them away, not wasting them, you know? Okay, and then we're just going to tie off the bow. I better slow down, huh? <laughs> Did I lose a bunch of people? What's happening? Okay, okay. My, my, like my iPad is frozen and I see that a lot of people are gone. Are we okay, guys?
We're good? Okay. I lost a signal. Oh, okay. Probably when my alarm went off. I apologize. And then we're just tying it off in the back. Good morning, Amy. How are you? And we're going to cut it. And that's all there is with that. Now we're going to take a drink of coffee while everybody comes back. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, good. So I want all my strings to hang down. So I'm going to pull them down and have my loops up. This is the first time I've worked with Sari Silk too. I, I took the plunge and I ordered it and I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. Just trying to get these pieces where they need to be so it lays naturally. Okay, so we have this beautiful bow. And the fabrics make my nose itch, guys. Sorry. Thank you. I'm frozen on my iPad. I know that. With a horrible face. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Unless it was because of my alarm. Are we good now, you guys? Yeah, well, I know that um, Jennifer had problems with hers, too. I'm good? Okay, here I am. Here I am. Okay, so here's our bow. And we're going to put the bling in the center of the bow. I want to get my color up there so you can see it. I don't know, I think FB must be a little wonky today, unless it was because of my alarm, but that doesn't usually stop it. So we have this, okay? And I'll probably end up having to cut some of this off, but I'm gonna wait until I get it attached to the, um, to the bed spring. Hi, Lindy, how are you, my friend? Yeah, I, I heard a lot of people saying it was doing weird stuff yesterday, too. So I have a bag of um, Spanish moss. This is just the gray Spanish moss. And let me pull this, the twigs out of it. And I honestly, like sometimes it's perfect the way that it comes out. I just want kind of an, a nest-ish. Yeah gotta love it right so we're gonna set this on here and I'm gonna poke it down through a little bit push it down I want a lot of that to be able to seem because I know that Spanish moss is messy but I love it like I literally like it so much good morning buttercup creations how are you thank you for following yeah you guys if you're new to me today and you like what you see I'd appreciate you giving me a follow you decide you don't like me then you can just always unfollow me it's okay we're not all for everyone right okay so then now we're gonna take the egg and we're gonna just place it right in I actually am going to glue this we're gonna put it right there okay doesn't that look pretty I love it Okay, are we good now? I'm so... Jennifer, it's really not, though. It's it's not. I don't know if it was my alarm or if it's Facebook. Um, I lost a lot of people. Because there were a bunch more on here. But it's okay. So I'm just taking some hot glue. And we're going to stick that down in our nest. 
Hi, Lydia. I'm glad you're here. Yes, Jennifer, your egg was beautiful. Kathy's egg was beautiful. Jessica, the egg, let me show you, was a Dollar Tree egg with all the glitz and sequins and um, glitter on it. And I like took a sander and a scraper and just my hands and I got all of the, the parts off of it. And then I did a coat of Waverly plaster to seal what was left in it. And I took some strips of Osnaberg fabric that are about an inch wide. And I just like started at the bottom, wrapped it around and went back to the bottom and glued it so that we got this look right here. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much. You guys, we have 15 minutes. I need to slow down. What do you want to talk about? Thank you, Tammy. Oh, thanks, Sarah. My friend, Sarah. So, with my little purchase from some bling, I even got a Dollar Tree container. Okay, so what I did was I took my bow, my bow dabra and I made a bow. And I used flower sack towels that I cut in strips that have been co coffee spring. Coffee spring. I just read a comment. Coffee stained. And I just have little tiny strips of them. And I have some Osnaberg fabric that I dyed to make this color with an avocado. <clears throat> And the rosettes, you missed the rosettes? Okay, I can do a rosette for you. This is the flower sack towel. I just take it and I put a little hot glue in, in there. We have time to do this. And then I just kind of twist it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And then I just kind of hold it and I'm twisting this part and rolling it. And then I'm just moving my finger, twisting and rolling twisting and rolling and then once I get enough of a base then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'll just carefully put the glue right there and then we're going to twist and roll and attach it to where that glue was twist and roll and you'll see we're getting little rosettes twist and roll just a little bit of glue to hold it all together Thank you, Jennifer. I think it turned out per and it like ended up matching my my print perfect. I was so happy about it. So see, we're just doing that. We're twisting and rolling, twisting and rolling until you get it the size that you want. And then if you get any extra glue on the edge of it, I just take it, you know, like we do, like us crafters do. You just roll it off your fingers. Hi, Opa, how are you? So we're just twisting and rolling, and that is how you do it. It's that easy. Little bit of glue, a little more twist and roll. Okay, with the avocado, I did do a video yesterday. It's in two parts. Um, I, I cut the avocado like you're gonna, you know, use it to eat. And um, thank you, Debbie. You, you get the flesh out of it. So you take your, your, skin in your pit and you get all you know you wash it wash it out like I just took my thumbs and I just under warm water got every all the green out of it and um then I took an eight cup saucepan and I put probably like that much water in it because I knew how much fabric I how many strips I wanted to put in and I put the peel the skins in the pit in there I brought it to a boil I let it boil for I don't know maybe five minutes and then I turned it down left the you know the pit and the the skin in there and I steeped it you know like you do when you're making tea and I had my fabric strips in there I just kept pushing them down making sure they were all um do you really Jennifer oh that's interesting and then I let it sit there. Like I, I let it sit there all day. I just put it, put it back on the stove. And then it was, I was up working on the computer and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to get my avocado stuff done. So then I put it in the oven at 350 on a 
cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and I just had all the strips in there, you know, like I just had a big pile of strips. I wrung it out real tight and I just put them on the cookie sheet and I baked it for 10 minutes and then I checked it and then I put it back on and just until it was done, just until it was done. Okay, so, and that's all there was to it. I was so pleased with the color that it ended up being. Okay, so I got my bling, and I wanted, these are not bedazzled, however, I did get some of the crowns that they had because I really liked the crowns, and I thought about putting a crown at the top of my egg. Oh, you're welcome, Betty. You're welcome. So these were just from Amazon in a big, a big um, kit of them. I think there was like 40 pieces. And I'm going to glue that into the center of my of my bow. So once I see how I want my bow, thank you, Stephanie. You guys are all so sweet. I'm going to take a little bit of, and I don't even know that hot glue is going to hold this, but it's going to hold it for right now. How about that? I'm going to glue that right there in the center. still frozen I have my Wi-Fi is good thank you Debbie you know I had to keep going in and out of Jennifer's I had to literally restart my phone for hers it shows that everything's moving along here so I'm I don't know I'm sorry so we have that doesn't that look pretty I love it so then we're going to go ahead and I want to find where I want to have this because, let me see, got to get that twig out of the Spanish moss. Let me cut that off. It's a little unruly in some areas. We don't like unruly. I don't know, you guys, I just love it. And I think wrinkling that paper up the way that I did just really added because it doesn't look like it's paper on there. Let me see, where do I want to put this? Because I don't want that flower to be covered. Maybe I'll do it like this. I can do it just like that. We're going to load it up with some glue. And of course, it's the little glue sticks, so they don't go far. Okay. Yeah, Facebook doesn't like to play nice every day. I know my glue stick's not playing nice. Listen, if it can go wrong, it's going to happen during an important live, you know? Okay, so we're going to glue this right onto here. Okay, good. Well, I know we lost a lot of people when that happened, but... Um, what did I search? Rhinestones. Rhinestones. And a bunch of different things came up. And this was just an assorted package. And it has all kinds of different... There's rose gold. There's gold. There's some with pearls. There's some that's just plain silver. It was a cute little package. And the whole pat, the, the, the dazzled with the crowns, they're really pretty too. Like, look how pretty that is. I literally was going to put a crown up on top. Hi, Cheryl. Did I see Dina on here? Hi, Dina. How are you? Hi, Cheryl. Teddy bear baking them makes them more crispy. Yes. Yes, if you have nice weather and you have sun, my friend um, that lives in Texas, she puts hers outside and it gets nice and crispy in the sun. So this is what we have so far. So far, I mean, that's pretty much done. And then I can trim up, you know, however long or short I want this to be. So this is going to be setting. Let's trim this up a little bit. I don't like to go straight across because I don't want to give my fabric a blunt cut. 
I want her to have some layers. No blunt cuts, huh? Spanish moss everywhere. I am really loving the sari silk. Now, um, I'm going to have to try to dye some of that. That would be fun. Okay, let me see. Glad I glued my egg in so it's not going to fall. We want different layers of these pieces. we go and you know I thought about so what do you what do you guys think let me ask y'all this fabric all over me let me ask you this is this egg worthy of a little crown or should I just leave it with the way that it is I kind of like it the way that it is with no crown thank you thank you Devra it is not just like muslin. I mean, you can definitely tell it's silk. I mean, you know how silk will, um, let me find a piece. You know how it kind of gets, I don't even know the words. I'm not good with silk. It kind of looks like fuzzy. Like there's a strand of it. It's not, it's not like fabric. It, it's silk. It really is silk. Completely different than what like cotton would be. Let me get a piece of my cotton. You guys, um, Amara is up next with Vintage Retail Therapy, Therapy by Mara. Make sure that you're in the sparkle room. And at the end of my segment, um, refresh your page. And yeah, I'm not going to do the crown either. I'm not. But I, I mean, I bought them so I could, but I'm not. But you can see the difference. The silk in the, in the cotton fabric. Like it's, it's really, really nice. And it's, it's nice to work with like it without the crown. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. So the bed spring is just a rusted bed spring. Some of my, my friends sent them to me literally just rusted. I got it on Amazon. And if you just search, sorry, silk, it's S A R I silk. It comes in a big, like twisted bundle. Thank you so much, you guys. I want to, you know, I really appreciate you all being here with me. Um, all the new people that watched me, all my friends that came to see me. I appreciate you all so much. So here we have it. My bling. This is my contribution to the sparkle room. Thank you, Tammy. We have a ton of bed springs. This is a great idea. Yes, like I seriously still have like eight of them left over there. I need to get start using my my springs. <laughs> I, I mean, I have to. And see, I practiced last night, kind of my egg just fall, fell off. I didn't glue it last night, but I made a little prototype last night too because I wanted to see what I needed to prepare ahead of time and like how long things were going to take. This is why I glued the egg, you guys. So it all worked out good. I had some time to spare. Oh, you're welcome. Hi, Mary. How are you? Thank you. I love it. I love the colors. I love that vintage print in there. The rosettes really kind of set it off. I did think about taking my Distress Oxide and just kind of like taking the pad and just kind of going over it a little bit, but I didn't. I reframed from dirtying it up. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Thanks, Pat. I love the texture of the Spanish moss being out there. Love it. You guys, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you for everybody who sent me stars. Your egg has a bonnet. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. You know, uh, this is only my second project with, with the springs. I need to get moving on them because I have a ton. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for the stars, Beth. Old bed, my husband. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, they're out there. Just got to tear them apart. I know that that's quite a bit of work. Okay, it's 1214, you guys. 
Um, remember, Mara from Vintage Re Retail Therapy by Mara. I think it's Mara. I always say Mara. She is up next, and I know that she has something amazing. There's a great lineup of people, so stick around with us all day. Okay. Yeah, love it the way, but I would have to dirty. I know, Zena, it was hard. It was literally hard. Like, I wanted to get, wanted to get my distress oxide out. I could even maybe spray it with the Distress Oxide spray. You think my bow's too big? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think so. I like the bow like that. But everybody's different. You don't even have to put a bow on it. I guess this bow was a little smaller last night, but I'm, I love it. I think it's good. You don't have to put a bow. Thank you, Janie. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. Okay, guys, it's 1215. Thank you all for joining me. You guys have a great Saturday. Bye.